Right, joined by John after Gillingham 3, Bristol Rovers 1. Mate, what a massive, massive win this is. Oh, it's huge. Season. I mean, I said to, before the game that it's a must win and credit to them. When we went, well, when we conceded the penalty, I thought we weren't going to do it. I thought it was just going to be another throw away, but I mean, what can you say about Cody McDonald? How many times have you seen him? Certainly not finished. How, how many times have you seen him lean into the defender and then just bring it down? Yeah. And oh my God, did he do it today? Absolutely outstanding. He was the one person that you could look at and see that he really, really cared because he was running everywhere in the first half. He was back clearing it from our box and then up in their box trying to catch on to something. He was just outstanding today. Honestly, my man of the match. And I think yeah, I mean, Josh. Obviously, Josh Wright got it. Uh, I thought he covered a hell of a lot of yards today as well. Yeah, Josh Wright was good, to be fair. I don't want to take any credit away from him. Uh, he was brilliant, and he obviously nicked that first goal, which was yeah. really massive at the time. And I think that's the curse of having the man of the match at the time we do, because yeah. uh, if the man of the match had been announced in the 97th minute, it might have been very different. But no, nah, a huge win today. Absolutely massive. How big? It's Charlton on Monday. Huge. I mean, it's now a game that you look at and you think we can go and win that. Yeah. I mean, we've got, we're going to take so much positivity from it's this game. We're going to take a lot from Bradley Back coming back as well. It's a strange thing. One win just t can just turn your season just like that, can't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, we were standing here last week saying we're going down. Yeah. And now one win, we're thinking, right, one win away from actually staying up. I think the only issue we have now is the fact that... Can we get that win? Yeah, we've only got the three games left and... Well, Fleetwood, two, because I don't think we'll get anything in Northampton. Well, no, exactly. <laughs> this is what I mean. I mean, Fleetwood is going to be a tough game. Very tough game, because they're going to be wanting, they're going to be fighting for it. And so will Northampton, because I'm assuming Justin Everett will want to do us over one more time. But no, I think Charlton away is massive now and I think we've got it in us to get the three points now. Do you think do you think we've got enough to, to keep us in the division? Oh god yeah. After today, I think we've got a lot more fire, we've got a lot more going for us. And credit to Pennock, I'm one of his biggest critics, anyone will know that. Bringing us a baby on was good. Yeah. Taking quickly off uh, um, Donnelly was good. I He's thought to be honest, with the team that he put out today, whether it's rough wrong, I think. And Pennock, like you said, he's one of my critics as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually think he made probably the right substitutions today. Yeah, I mean... I was across the board, don't even come on. I thought he covered the ground well. And yeah. I've like... Made himself a nuisance, didn't he? Yeah, and I think... Start with the man, the myth, the, med the legend, Cody McDonald <coughs> up front, and Josh Parker alongside him. Like, I wasn't a fan of Joe Quigley today. No, no. I but, asked Reese uh, about giving a contract to Cody. Would he, would he be one of the first ones that you would give Oh God, to? yeah. Um, did an article on it the other week and I was struggling to find players to give uh, to extend their deals, but after today, I don't think you cannot extend Cody McDonald. Even if you just offer him a year, but I'd offer him two, offer him club captaincy as well. I mean, I know Adrian Pennock likes his center as captains, but look at the fight he showed today. You have to make him captain. Just get that going throughout the team. So yeah, I'd offer him a new deal, hands down. Cheers, John.